What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios. Welcome, welcome to the Mixing It Up podcast, episode 11. Today we got E Will on the show. My dog, what's Th- going on with you? Not much, man. Not much. Uh, if I could say what the fuck I was trying to say, like straight out, I'd be doing better. Like, <laughs> welcome to the blah, blah, blah. But thanks for coming over, man. I really yeah, appreciate sure. it, man. Like I said, uh, we were kind of talking before the show. I've been watching your journey, I've been seeing you grind and shit. So you inspire me. Um, I always say podcasts, educating and inspiring, whether it's inspiring me, hopefully we can give something to the people that watch it. You know what I mean? So with that, a little bit of house cleaning, basically, like I have a lot of people hitting me up about the podcast and shit like that. So, um, I I'm all for promotion. I'm all for helping ever anybody and everybody I can, but the podcast only just ain't about promotion. There's enough of those out there. You can do your own promo. You know what I'm saying? So like. If I have you on or or you inquire to be on the podcast, like uh, we got to have something we can give back. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We got to something yeah, we, we can definitely. teach people. So I think most people can do that. I'm yeah. not saying they can't, right? But so um, with that being said, thanks everybody for all the love. The sharers just getting mad love on the podcast and uh, getting a lot of inquiries about it. And with that being said, uh, I want to let you guys know that it is on all platforms now. Basically, anything you can listen to podcasts on, you know. Okay, so that's what's up. For a minute, it was only on YouTube. Yeah. Because I, because you know, you can distro kid your music and shit, right. and they just put it on everything yeah. or, or whatever TuneCore, right? Uh-huh. Podcast ain't really like that. You got to find like a a place to host it, and then you got to share that link and hope it gets approved through iTunes and shit like that. Uh-huh. So it's a little okay. different process. It's not right. hard once you figure right. it out, but. When you fuck with music, you don't really know that shit. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. So, that's how I used so. to have to do it. When I first got on Pandora, that's how I'd submit my shit. And hopefully they get back with you. You know what I'm saying? But right. Yeah, yeah, so I know exactly what you mean. You on Pandora then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dope. Yeah, yeah, for Dope. sure. Hell yeah. So, all right, man. So I just want to let you know, I, I kind of prefaced this by saying that, but, you know, I have you on the show because, man, your consistency. You know, we was talking about that a little bit, too, before the show started. The consistency and the growth and uh, just uh, just seeing where you're at. Like I said, if you guys ain't checked out his track, Big Shit, man, that's a dope track. That bitch, that, that bitch goes, and the video is tight as fuck. Ain't nobody doing no shit like that. I so, love, like, bro. yeah, love, for, love, real, for real. For real, yeah, man. Check that out. Yeah. So, um, you know... And and right now you on the road doing shows, doing all that, and, and yeah. living that life. So you know yeah. you ain't fucking faking it. You ain't calling it in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, so, right, right. Um, but for the audience that don't know who E Will is, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, man? How you got started? What your backstory? You know, right, you know right. what what got you into music and uh, kind of got you to <clears throat> this point. You know? Yeah. Oh well, shit, man. I'm from Grand Rapids. I'm from the South Side. I grew up on Kalamazoo Dickinson. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, but I started doing music when I was late in life. When I was 17, I used to play sports. And then I just wasn't always, I wasn't the superstar in sports. I had to find something I could be the superstar in. So that's what I, I always felt like. I was like, man. And as well, like, release still after sports. Because I still played ball. Like, I was angry as a kid. So I needed to hit some shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? And then... As I started to graduate, I was like, well, I probably won't go to the NFL. So, you know what I'm saying? I have to find a new outlet. And, yeah, so 17, I started rapping. Um, and then it just kept, man, my, I did my first show when I was 17. Over at, It used to be called Toscano's. I don't know what it's called uh, now. <laughs> my band played there before at Toscano's. Yeah, yeah yep. Grand they used yeah. to, like, pull That's us in. And we'd, we'd come perform. We had to leave, like, right after because we weren't of age to be in a bar. Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> It's uh, it's been a, it's yeah. So what, ten years, eleven years now, um, and just, just uh, growing, bro. It's and once I figured it out, I really loved music. It was, it was over from there. So you like all kinds of music, or is it just mostly hip hop? That's kind of your main, main thing, or you know, like, and anybody in your family play instruments or anything, or you just was like, fuck, I, I like music. Man, yeah, I guess my great grandfather was like a really good, like he was supposed to tour and leave with Frank Sinatra. When oh, he was younger. So. Like he's this is the only person in my family I know that does except for like my cousin plays guitar, but that does did music for real. Other okay. than that, like, nah, nobody in my family 
It's like musically, my grandma can sing. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but like, other than that, no, nah, I, um, I, and I love all kinds of music. Like okay. I grew up on, I really, I just started to enjoy certain like old country. If I said I didn't like country, I'd lie, but I don't like country in the same breath. But other than that, like, bro, I, I love everything. I'm a huge jazz fan. Like I'll just chill at night and listen to jazz. Um, but yeah, I definitely, man, I came up when I was younger, we used to uh, fucking, uh, Blink-182 and like all of that shit, like okay. kind of mainstream punk music, right. you know what okay. I mean? Green Day, all that shit. Yeah. So. All right. <clears throat> so, um, you know, bringing us till, uh, now we just kind of talked about, uh, you know, you get started. So what do you start rapping at a friend's house or you started linking with some guys that rapped and, and how did, how did you get, you know, in the studio first time? What did that look like? I you mean, know what? Um, the first man, you remember, I don't know if you remember like Reed dollars and all them used to do those YouTube battles. They like battle back and forth from the camera. Uh, I mean like it's on a larger scale now, but they like really him, Meek Mill, all of them. They like really started battle shit. So when I first started rapping, I actually wanted to battle rap. Okay. And we used to like freestyle against each other in school and like send voice memos through our phones and shit, like oh, literally talking shit about each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so murdered them later, right? You know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's caused some good line to fucking drop on, them. <laughs> right? The... One good line was good enough back then. Bro. <laughs> they just said that bitch, right? You yeah. Hear so this shit now, uh, yeah. um, that you know, like Reed that was actually one of the reasons I even started rapping. I used to like be real mean, like him. Like that was like where I like figured out you could be really aggressive in music. And so what was I getting? Oh, that's like how it started for real. You know, being in high school and just kind of trying to clown out. And then it was like, oh, this is actually cool. And then I started smoking weed. And then, you know, you do the weed and the freestyle sessions. And, you know what I'm saying? And it just kept going from there. It just becomes a vibe. Yeah, hell yeah. So let's let's talk a little bit about the you know the long hair you will days the fucking uh, <laughs> I try to forget the, about those days. <laughs> uh, when it when did the, uh, it, it's twenty twenty now? So was mm -hmm. it twenty twelve? Was when you first dropped your first joint? Like uh, was that one of them first by, ones that you did somewhere um, around there? First, yeah, no. By all technicality, I dropped my first project in two thousand ten. Okay. Which I still have. Okay. Um, it's not available anywhere, but I still have it. Um, it was called Prepare for Perfection. I recorded it with man, guys I still rap with now back in 2010. Yeah, that was my first project. Then my second one. I had dropped three projects by 2012. Just because that's all I did. Like I was lucky enough to have a friend that wanted to engineer and you know what I'm saying, and we just would lock in all day. Then I found a dude that Wanted to start a record label in Grand Rapids. That was when I was like <clears throat> 19. He came and found us and he on Burton Eastern got a, a studio there for us and we would lock in there and be there for days. On was end. that the S E M M thing? Yeah, the Southeast Money okay. Mafia shit. Okay, yep, we were you. doing yeah. that. And uh actually the label was what were they called? Oh I forget now. Damn, that's crazy. But this dude Scotty used to own it and he took three of us from my, my group and then I added a couple other guys and we just we would be in the studio all day bro like that's, I have so much man I've been doing it I now just sitting back thinking about that like I really put in a lot of hours <laughs> and, and that's what it takes man you know every show yeah. every show we talk about the 10,000 hours it takes to master your craft you yeah. know what I mean and then and you that ain't bullshit and it's all them long hours and a lot of that stuff probably you probably listen to it you're probably like that's dope but you're like it's trash, yeah, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like Where it's like dope. it had some, you know, yeah. but you you know how long, how far you come and yeah. the other work you put in, right? Right, right. So, um, so let's talk about right now, then, man. Uh, you kind of uh got started and you were consistent. You you know hit some studios, did yeah. some videos, yeah, and. Uh, so where are we at right now? Tough journey. Yep, Tell tough me journey. About that. So and, label, um, that he. This guy Mark found us through Instagram. He was holding a, he was holding a competition. I was actually late for it. somebody. Artist JP tagged me in. Um, I don't know if you know who that is. That's my homie. Uh -huh. He's he man. He's dope. He does clothing. He's a painter. He's it's okay. not a lot he can't do. I'll, him, <laughs> um, but, I'll definitely check him out. Though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He um he put me on to the competition. I was late and I was like, fuck it. I had been doing those freestyle videos. I was dropping. I was like, I just tag him in one. He ended up getting at me, and long story short, like, at first I was like, eh, 
I've lost thousands of dollars fucking around on, like on social media and people being like, yo, I could do this for you. Not in yeah. the recent, like as in my 20s, but when I was younger, people, bro, I've been scammed. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, so I was like, I ain't think too much about it. Um, and he kept hitting me and sent me his number. It was like, yo, call me. I'm about to get on a flight, but call me real quick. So I talked to him for like two hours. Um, and he, well, not once was he like, oh, yeah, and we just need $1,500 from oh, you. Right. And we'll, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, maybe, you know what I'm saying? It's official. So he ended up flying us out, me and two other artists, shout out Beretta and Big Eddie. Um, but he, that she, and bro's from Memphis. She's from Virginia. He flew all three of us out. Uh, we stayed in Miami for like eight days, something like that. Worked on a single. And bro, it's just been constant work ever since then. Like we stay on the road, do a lot of, it's a it's a lot of the touring we do is promo, so it's not we're all we're not always like performing. We'll pull up to a club and buy a section, a VIP section, and then you know like work from there. Have we got cars with the little scanner on it and everything? Right. Network, but, yeah, yeah, yep, network and like just that, be in people's people. city trying to find out who's who in every city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that I mean that's that's a smart move because it's all about shaking those hands and meeting those people because. When it boils down to it, man, you know, a lot of people think like, uh, you know, throw that song out there, I'm gonna get a million fans or a right. hundred thousand fans. But you don't understand, like, like you were saying, the the hours you put in on the fucking like recording and yeah. getting better at rapping, you also got to put those hours in shaking the hands, fucking man. getting to know E Will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. you know, E Will is super dope, so I'm gonna buy into his music. Right. Because people don't, uh, the, you don't understand. They buy you, then they buy what you're selling. Type right. shit, you exactly. Know? Not necessarily that you're selling something, but you right. still are selling yourself. You yeah. know what I oh, mean? Because sure. if you some dickhead or you know you ain't providing anything that people, you know, a friendly environment and other people be like, I ain't fuck with that dude. Right. Hey, what yeah. the fuck is that? That's huge music? too. You know what I'm saying? Huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the footwork is crazy. You you think you've done so much until you know, until you get into another level and you be like, oh shit, there's all this ground I haven't covered yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's dope. It's a great experience and I could definitely, I know I've grown from it. So like now when I go back this week, I can take tools that I taught myself when, you know what I'm saying? I was on the road last because it's not easy oh, to be no. 18 hours away from home and right. you got to go talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't like talking to people all the time. Right. Especially, like, if it's not, like, this is one thing. But if I, I don't, I'm not the guy that's like, hey, fucking listen to my music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'd rather you met me first. Yeah. And then people always be like, like, people always find out that I do music. I'm never like, yo, this is the only conversation we're going to have is me and my music. Right. I just be like, fuck it, you can find out. But it's like okay to do that you know when right. i'm on the road so i have to right. differentiate and get used to it right yeah draw that line right well that's the th same thing with social media that's what i always say you know put out value put out something content that people want to follow you by right. or even if you you know comment on somebody's shit on, on their stuff or whatever hey man right. that's dope blah, blah 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 whatever but don't say like check out my music yeah but if like you give enough value people are gonna go to your page and be like oh this dude raps and they'll yeah. be like oh shit oh he's legit he's got this dope ass shit you know what i'm yeah. saying and you didn't have to come out and be like blah 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 but you provided that value first people miss that fucking boat all day yep, long all they just day. you know what i'm saying like <laughs> spam my link Man, fuck, but like, 96 90 you and 96 people have been tagged in this post and i'll be I, like is this is just no sincerity behind it i i made a status and it kind of ruffled some feathers some people got all salty but i was like shout out to all the rappers that made it famous this year after tagging me and 99 others <laughs> in the post <laughs> Yo, facts facts damn it motherfuckers got salty dudes were Man, emailing it, uh dming me saying they was gonna battle rap me i'm like i don't even rap what the <laughs> like, fuck what do you like, want to do the, come on the podcast man. <laughs> you want a podcast rap me motherfucker right. i'll make a better beat than you what the fuck right. i don't know fuck you <laughs> Damn, that's well, crazy, bro. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I agree with that. You know, there's levels to this shit. So um, I see you always working in GR though. Like yeah. uh, we talked about big shit. So that was filmed in Vegas, right? Am yeah. I correct and about in, that? Because I, I just put that together. It looked like it. Yeah. And that was tough that, journey. Put that desert, out for you. Yeah, yeah, they did. They that's actually the single that because we got a single deal with them. I failed to mention earlier. Sorry. Um, so we signed a single deal with them. And basically, that's that they're gonna push that single. That's they shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's under the tough journey umbrella, which is fine with me. Like it's a, it's a new step. They gave me an opportunity. You know what I mean? Like that people don't get around here. Right. So yeah, you know that what makes I mean? sense. You got to jump on it. But um, 
it's yeah, it's through them. Um, and actually, we shot the desert scenes in that video are actually in Arizona. Okay, they're in. We shot that in the rich part of Arizona. I forget what the fuck it's called now. It's uh, I keep wanting to say Rochester. It's, it's it'll come to me at some point. But then the other the couple of the scenes like in a downtown setting that was in Vegas. Okay, so. yeah, I, I I was like it kind of looked like Arizona when I seen the desert stuff. But then I was like maybe that was. I mean, desert yeah. kind of looks like desert and shit, so I was like, maybe in Vegas or whatever. Right. But what I was going to say, though, is uh, I see you recording a lot in GR uh, yeah. and shit like that. You got, like, somebody you always go to, because oh, yeah. you always be going live and shit, and I always yeah. be looking at the dude's equipment <laughs> and all that shit, so, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm like, Bro, it's this is crispy. I was like, yeah. and then, like, you know, I, I like... I don't fuck with a lot of rap. I ain't gonna hold you up. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, local rap. You right, know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right. I have I have ones that I like when I listen to them. Like, that's fucking good. Yeah. Or when I no. listen to shit, I'm just like, oh, that sounds like everybody else's shit. Right. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's why I said like, I like fuck with your shit. So I I know it sounds great too. So right. like, you know, thank you. Who who's that? What? How'd you make that connection? And, and is that some you've been fucking with for a long time? Oh, or man, you know, what's that? Yeah, Ryan Payne. That's my dog. That's my brother. Like, okay. We've been working for almost the whole ten years. I met him. I was that was one of the people. I was like, I was lucky enough to have people that wanted to engineer and shit. So he used to work. He went to Kendall, and when he, I used to record at the college with him, and that was 2011, 2010. So and then he built his studio up in his in the basement, and psh, I wouldn't rather. I've been to Criteria Studios. I've been to, oh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, Bay 8 in Miami. Those are like two huge, like Wayne recorded the Carter 5 at Bay 8. Okay. Like, I would rather be with Ryan in the basement because right. we just connect like that. Like, right. He knows what he's doing with me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, knows what sound you like. And right. You guys work together long enough. For him to be able to identify, like, oh, yeah. oh you like it, like this on your ad libs, you like him this right. loud, this that. Yep, that so makes a lot of sense, man. Right away yeah. with it when I get in there, but yeah. yeah so Ryan Payne, that's my dog, man. Hell yeah, shout out, shout out, bro, because uh, mm-hmm. I always be checking out his shit. So much love to him. Yeah, much love. Uh, what what about beats and shit? Well, you got producers you go to. You, you oh, know, what's that look like for you? Because yeah. I did see a thing, and I I've been reaching out. I did reach out to you one time, but I was like, you know, it was just kind of uh, some other shit. But, like, yeah. you know, we can talk more about that, right. too. Uh, but uh, as far as, like, producers, you got oh, yeah. go-tos or you, you, Man. you, know, you got – I know you said you got people hitting you up now. And Man, shit, you crazy know? now. But, yeah, I do have go-tos. Brandon Coe has been, like, okay. one of my go-tos. I know he's, him. He produced, like, I my whole album. Okay. Yeah, um, that's my dog. Yeah, he's um, dope. Uh, he's been putting out some content, too, on social media. You're not hasn't he? Out of shit. With the, yeah. like, building beats and yep, shit? Yep, Damn, so, boys, he's been doing I it like for it. so long, man. Right. So long. I don't even... He's older than me, but... You got to do that shit now, too. It's got to be all about the content. Man. Right, exactly. Yeah, people want to see you, and it's, it's, it's crazy. And people will live vicariously through you for the whole oh. life. Right. <laughs> He's yeah. wild, so that's true. But yeah, him fucking um uh this dude uh Dante Allen, he goes by D Fresh. He's doing great right now. Uh okay. he's actually in Atlanta and I think he's from the east side of the state, but he produced half the other half of my album. Dope. But like if those are two guys if, oops, those no, are two guys right. if I ever need anything, I know I'm gonna get what I'm looking for from one of them for dope. sure. Hell so yeah. yeah. Super dope. So um no sleep for the dreamer. That was the, that was the last project you put out before you started fucking with the tough journey shit, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you had a line on there. Um, you said, "I had to write this down because I had to go back because when I <laughs> right. heard it, I was like, man, I like that line, but I think it stands for something.' Yeah. So, something along the line. I'm just paraphrasing. Right. They say. You say you want to be the best in the city. You can have it. I want to be the best on the planet. Yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah. just, you know what I mean? But yeah. that's why I get inspired by you, bro, because that, yeah. that's the mindset. Motherfuckers always be like, I'm the dopest in Muskegon. I'm like, who the fuck cares? My city don't give me love. Like, who, like I seen that Say the Baby shit about saying, like, nobody bumps Eminem in Detroit. I mean, cool, whatever. However right. you feel about that. Right, right, but who right. fucking cares when you're the largest selling artist fucking of all the, time? Who the fuck cares <laughs> if they you, bump him in Detroit? Nobody like, what cares. It, that, it's okay. Why is it about like, that? Uh, because they have to take something from him. And I listen to Sada Baby. I ain't, right, right, right. Like, I ain't hating on him. I'm like just a, saying it don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't you know, matter. Basically because, what you were saying in your line. Right. Fuck it, you gotta have that big mindset. Yeah, bro. and if I if I mean I know this won't happen, and I, I'm not to people know I'm a humble dude, but like if I woke up one day and they didn't say like they dropped a documentary about Grand Rapids hip hop and I wasn't 
in there somehow, one way or another. If I was making what I needed to make to sustain my life off of music, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sense. Like, yeah. So I just wanted to say I like that line, bro. Like that, yeah, you know. Like I, 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 I like shit like that because that's inspirational and that's just people shit need to hear. That's right. what I, you know, that's the type of shit I say when I, when I'm talking to people about you know stuff like who it don't even matter, man. Because yeah, you true. probably go on your Spotify. I'm sure you look at the stats. You got people. My homie Tony Coppa. I don't know if you know that is. I just but looked like, him up yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He he's yeah. dope, man. He's the dude that I work with all the okay. time. Okay, like, work, like, work. Produce all the shit, make yeah. beats, and record, and and yeah. all that. But uh, you know, he's got people listening to him all over the world, and he's got right. his fan base. But like most of the people he contacted him are from Cali, Arizona. All this. Right. Those are the people he's talking to. Right. And they, who the fuck cares if Joe fucking Schmo and motherfucking Muskegon gives a fuck about right. this shit? Like for real. If they ain't buying a T-shirt. Or buying your single, then fucking fuck don't it. bump my shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, then you're not even trying to be a part, fuck. like you for know, real. Man. Yeah, bro. And then like it even gets like to like. I mean, I be thinking, I be trying to tell people too, like, bro. There's, I know guys that are famous in Europe. Nobody knows here, but they make money out there off their music, and they they can't walk around out there. You know what I'm saying? Like because people know them for yeah. real. Like it doesn't end here. If it doesn't end in the United States, it definitely doesn't end in your city. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's like what I, I do try to instill that in my people. Like when I notice like one of my fellow artists is down or something or they feel like they're not, I'd be like, bro, this is not it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what you didn't get booked at the intersection for this next show you wanted to, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So what they don't put you on the top 10? Go be in the top 10 in Europe or Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like there's actually money to be made and, and success to be had all over the world. So yeah, that's yeah. a great big mindset to have, man. And uh, yeah, that's why I just had to call out that line, man, because yeah. I, I like that dope. line. And, dope, and like I said, it, it definitely resonated with me. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we talk about the 10,000 hour things, whatever, yeah. whatever. And you said you did a lot of time writing in the studio. Tell me a little bit about your process, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what, you know, just what, you know, you you practice a lot just in the car. You just write a lot. Is that is that kind of where you got man, where you're at? Or? That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's funny you said in the car because I do. I, pra- I write a lot. I'll poke my Bluetooth in my car because it's the only place I know nobody's going to walk up on me while I'm writing or, you know, what I'm like I can't do it. I like to be able to just let loose, and I hate. I would hate for somebody to run in the or like walk in the room, and I'm fucking in a tornado <laughs> of raps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I, papers I flying like, everywhere, <laughs> fucking was, just trash. Can. That is one of my most like fearful <laughs> moments. Is if somebody walked in, I'd be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that's what I was doing. But yeah, bro, like I, I man, yeah, I write and. And I cut the beat on, and I will write, and I will go over the same spot thirty seven times before I. You know what I'm saying? Like my while my bars, I can't. I don't just keep going and writing bars and be like, oh, here's this, 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 and this. I'll start from the top to find the next bar. I keep going. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, that's kind of how my process is. And then I make sure I memorize it before I hit the lab for sure. You know. Serious. That that's very important. Uh, yeah. I work with a handful of artists, and and lately I just tell them like, dude, you got to come with that shit memorized. It's got to yeah. come from the heart. Yep. It's got to come. And I did notice that. Like yeah. I was kind of saying, I I looked up some of your older stuff, but uh, the just comparing that to the new thing, you know, uh, the yeah. big shit. I just tell the or I could tell if I could speak English. <laughs> um, I could just tell the energy that you had. Oh, like yeah. the like you was just getting with it, feeling it in the studio and yeah. then that comes through on the video too with your actions and all that. So it's like, yeah. you know, it, it's that point of man that's coming from here. Yeah. Your yeah. heart, your Facts. soul. Yeah. It is. Not fucking I'm trying to be a rapper ninja be baba you be the bad be the bad whatever you know what I mean just yeah, like the, the constant you know right you know just reading it off the phone or whatever like like if you gonna rap fucking rap yeah like, yeah for right? real it, it, yeah. I mean facts because there's no in between spot where it's gonna sound good like you either have to really rap or you just... <laughs> yeah because <laughs> it doesn't sound right yeah. Uh, it's funny you said that about the DM thing. Like, uh, you got people always spamming you with links. Hey, oh, check my shit out, blah, blah, blah. Man, Do you tell yeah. them, like, hey, your shit's trash? Because, like, yeah, I sometimes. Had, yeah. But I try to word it in the most non crushing of dreams way because you never know. Like, somebody might have the ability to develop. But, like, man, it's so. Now it'd be like, I'd be like, wanting to tell somebody, give me $20 and I'll watch it and I'll give you feedback. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. It, Your time is... Man, and I don't always... Like, I was never that... 
I never was the. You can go back in my old social media and check. I was never that person. Like, if I sent you some shit, it's because we knew each other already. And I'm like, hey, bro, here go that video I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, it just, like I said, once again, it's so ingenuine. I mean, at least send me a personalized message. You know what I'm saying? Something right. like, hey, yo, right. bro, I fuck with you. Check me out. And I I try to. I try to check everybody's shit out. Um, but yeah, man, I have told people, hey, bro, this is. You might want to try and see if you're good at video games. <laughs> this is not it. Start a YouTube, <laughs> like, bro. Start a, start a YouTube. You yeah. just might make more money faster. Yeah, right. You don't know. Right. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I just I was just wondering. I'm always I'm always like trying to be constructive, and I try to stay right. in a positive mindset because you know it's karma. You know yep. whatever I try to put out, but I but I also have my limits too. And uh, yeah, I, I've had a couple rough ones in the last week, and I don't always listen to them, and sometimes I do, but I've had a couple of them. And one dude actually had built a relationship with me before, yeah. and he sent it to me. He's like, is it good? And I just, I didn't say nothing, because I was just like, <laughs> I didn't want to be like, no, it's fucking horror, dude. Like, right. You know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it sucks sometimes, because people yeah. aren't bad people. Right. But yeah. that doesn't mean they're going to make good music. Right. You know what I yeah. mean? Or something that's not, that's at least... Pleasing to the ears. Right. That so, makes sense. Yeah. So this is kind of where the section we get into. Um, what advice could you give, you know, kind of going off that DM segue and off of that, you know, what are some, you know, say somebody's good or something or say yeah. somebody's built a relationship with somebody. What are some advice, you know, some things uh, that you've learned maybe even the last couple of years that could really help somebody maybe accelerate them without having to have the pitfalls that we right. all have to go through. I mean, right. the scamming thing's big too because I fell into that shit too. Yep. But, you know, sure. what are a couple of things, bro, that you could maybe um, give, you know? I would say... Man, my man, my big oops, my damn, I'm just Sorry. clumsy. My big, my big, <laughs> <Edit. laughs> right, Cut. getting him out of there. Uh, my big thing lately has been trying to, depending on what you are trying to do, like if you're trying to do what I'm trying to do, the biggest thing is you don't always have to put a whole project up. Like, I don't, I can't imagine, even though it helps me, it helped me, you know what I'm saying, with my recording process, the writing, all that. It, I can't imagine how many songs I've thrown away that could, probably could have been the one or that I just put out like that. That You know what I'm saying? Right. Like from yeah. 17, even when I really started picking up around like 20 to now, like I probably missed a bunch of chances because I could have just focused that money that I used to print CDs and all that other shit and back social media marketing is huge now. You know what I'm saying? And like on one single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and really just pushing that one song. Because nowadays, and as I've been getting older, especially nowadays, though, people, like you said earlier, their attention span isn't that long. You can't drop a 12. I mean, 12 songs is about a good a good amount for an album now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It used to be 16, 22. They don't got that kind of... So I used to do those. And, like, I would definitely say, man, try to focus on singles, depending on where you want to go, too, though. You know, like, my advice isn't always going to be right for everybody. Right, right, yeah. But, yeah, yeah if, if, you know, you're trying to really break out in the industry where the attention span is two and a half minutes normally, yeah, you're yeah. going to want to drop singles more and focus your, your funds on that single and, you know, go from there. Yeah, because uh, the way I look at it, especially now, is if you put out the single and right. you build a lot of content around it, too, mm -hmm. you could be promoting that single for a while, yeah. right? Yep. And then people always have something to latch on to because then you got another one dropping after you promote that. And so the artists exactly. that I've been working with, Latin J, yeah. Tony, uh, and some other guys that I am going to work in, that's what we are doing just right. singles because then you, oh, you know, say you, you could do seven songs in, in, a, yeah. in a session. But make that shit last seven, eight, nine months. Right. So they fucking with you seven, eight, nine months. And if you get bored because you just marketing all that shit correctly and you already right. did the work, fuck it, drop, drop, drop some more shit. Who yeah. cares? Just drop a tape if you feel like it because that's what right. artists do. They write fast, grab some YouTube beats, whatever, because yep. you want to get it out. Cool. Yeah. And then if you got to join on there, then maybe that's the next single afterwards. But right. like, you ain't blowing your whole marketing thing like, hey, here's 15 songs. I worked my fucking ass off and tried to market. <laughs> on, on Tuesday, they give a fuck. On Saturday, something else came out. And then you're yep. like, oh, shit, that was 15 songs. I'll Man, shit you know out. what I'm saying? And maybe 2,000 four thousand dollars later you know right. what I'm saying? so yeah. like it'll, it'll save your pockets too and that's huge as an artist you know what i'm saying like huge so. um what about like uh i know 
everybody's always in the process of, yeah. of building a fan base, right? Yeah. Like, because that's the main thing. I tell every fucking person that it's yeah. the shaking the hands, the always. the one on one, like. You know, because if you can build 10, you can build 20, you can build yep. 50, you can build 100, yeah. you can build 100, you can build 1,000, but you Man. gotta start with that one or two. Yeah. Start with the, you know, dudes yeah. that fuck with you, dudes you're genuine with, and yeah. then they'll tell people, you know, and, and, and go from there. Yeah. But uh, what are some advice maybe you could give, you know, some some things that, you know, you're starting to build a fan base now and, and <sighs> some things that you've seen or some things you're trying? What yeah. does that look like for you, man? Um, a lot of. I mean, get out if you got time and you don't have a family and you don't have, you know, get get out of your, your bubble ASAP. Like, get out, experience life. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even always have to be music. Like, you can just get out and experience some new shit. It changes a lot of your mindset or your concept of how you should attack things because you see how other people across the world are living or across America are. So they might, you, you know, one way, like, the way you do it at home might not work somewhere else because they just something small as they talk different. You know what I'm saying? Right. But getting out has been one of the best things I've ever done. Always. Because, I mean, I've been traveling with music. We just used to do a lot of Midwest, Chicago, Ohio, Indiana when I was mm -hmm. 17, 18. And now it's on a larger scale. But getting out has always helped, bro. Like, always. Because you just, you get, now you're touching hands of people that... You, you can still access through social media, but I be telling people, gen like getting a genuine connection with people is more important than like if it don't. Everybody doesn't go viral, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it. So that's like it's those two extremes. So you still gotta get out here. You know what I'm saying? And I would say that's huge. I mean, carrying yourself correct once you do do that, because you could lose it like that. Right. Like, all it takes is for couple hundred people to say you're a dickhead. Right. You know what I'm yep. saying? And then yep. everybody thinks you're a dickhead all the time when yeah. you just might have had a bad day that day. Right. That makes you know what I'm sense. saying? So yeah. that's huge too. You know, that's what a lot of people are like, oh, I got 50,000 views or 100,000 views. And it's like, well, did you get any emails or did you figure right? out how to sell any shirts or anything? Because views are fucking cool and yeah, all. And cool. you can say that many people seen it, but did you convert them? Do you know where they came from? You know, you got to know your right. marketing type shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, um, and that's all stuff I've been studying. You got to know who your fan is. I yep. think that's super important. Like, yeah. who's going to fuck Very. with your music? Exactly. Is it fucking Johnny Xbox and fucking Midwest? You know what <laughs> right. I'm saying? That lives in his mom's basement. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or is it fucking Kyle in Seattle? Right. You know, coffee shop Kyle. Who yeah. fucking knows? You know what? But you got to <laughs> know. Right, right, Because right. that's how you spend your marketing budget and, you know, whatever. Yeah. But this ain't a marketing podcast. So. Man, but still, <laughs> it's, it's valuable information. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of shit they got to know. So what's next for you, bro? Let's talk about 2020, and then we're about to wrap this thing up. We've been going for a little bit, you know, and uh, just let, what's next for E-Will, man? And uh, it, 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 let me let me know what's 2020 got in store for 2020 you. 2020 is going to be special. Um, I mean, we're going to really, like, we just continuing to, continuing to learn and grow, you know what I'm saying, um, whether that be with this label still or independently. I don't know where I'm going. I mean, in, they're independent as well, but either way. Um, whichever route I decide to take, um, we got. I'm sticking with the single idea. I got a new single already. I'm loaded up and ready. Then I got a new one. I just like ones recorded, so that we're gonna start. I'm gonna start pushing that real soon. Um, and video. Um, I'm about to shoot a video on Sunday. Okay. So you know, just really taking what I did last year and just trying to you know propel off of that. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. and go further. But um, yeah, I mean execution. I'm just yeah. a lot it's of execution. Yeah, execution. You, you know what I'm saying on a higher level now. Um, we're running out of time, but I I do want to say this because it's kind of been on my mind. Like you know, we were talking about the 2010, 2012. It's 2020 now. So you know, with creators, guys, you know, he's been at this for like 10 years, and yeah. now he's starting to. Right, figure Fine. some things out and get fruits off his labor. Not that he hasn't been grinding. Right, same with me, bro. Yeah, like facts. you know, I'm getting older. I fucking been at this shit for fucking you know years. Yeah, years. Yeah. You know, so it just takes a while. Everybody's yeah. journey's different, but exactly. you know, you got to be willing to put in that ten years to start seeing those results. Everybody wants that. You know, I can give up after four weeks and eight facts. weeks because I ain't got fucking twenty thousand followers after a year. You know right. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it don't work like that. It you got to learn that shit. We could tell you all the shit in the world on this podcast too. Right. Some people, you just got to fuck it up yourself. Yeah, sometimes that's the best way to learn. You got to yeah. get definitely <laughs> fuck it up on your own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, like for sure. Because you'd be like, oh, I, I, he said not to do this, so I didn't do that. 
but I did this and I still fucked it up, you know. Yeah. So like you said, it's a, everybody's journey's different, but I just hope sure. somebody can take away from uh, you know, it, it takes that. You got to think of that, you know. Think right. of 5 years down the road. Think yeah. of 10 years down the road. You can't think of like what's going to happen in 90 days like type yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to be like, okay, this is a body of work. This is yeah. my journey and this is what I'm about. So, man, uh thanks for inspiring me, bro, cuz yeah, like dog, thanks I for coming it. over. Yeah. I know it was a little bit of a trek to get here, but really I appreciate hey, you coming on the show, man. Super dope. Uh, what's your social media? What should they check out? Now's your time to promo um, whatever you got, bro. Let's and, get it. Fucking yeah. follow me on Instagram. It's E Will Music. E W I L L M U Z I K. Um, my Facebook fan page is E Will E hyphen Will. Um, you can find me on any streaming platform available. Um, e hyphen Will. No sleep for the dreamer. You can search that. That's my whole album. Big shit is the single. Again, all that's available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, whatever you like to listen to. Um, but definitely hit that IG. Make sure you go get that single. And then after you do that, check the album out. Again, that's No Sleep for the Dreamer and the single's big shit. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate your time, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Sure. Super dope <laughs> records. Um, I, I, like I said, man, I fuck with your shit. And like I said, I, I don't fuck with everybody's shit. Yeah. I wouldn't say, hey, I don't fuck with your shit. Right. But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, thanks. But, that, you know. Yeah. So uh, the show ain't always just about having like rappers on, but man, you, you stand for so much more, man. And I appreciate your time. You guys will probably see at the screen, if you're watching this on YouTube, you guys will see the last two podcasts on the screen. Uh, and anything else, please check us out. Leave us a comment. Leave us a rating, whatever. If you think it sucks, fuck it. Tell me. Um, appreciate your time, man. And yeah, much love to you guys. And peace out. Peace.